how you're feeling about playing at the fly again for 2023? Um, I'm really excited for playing at the fly in 2023. Obviously, um, last year with the World Cup, um, a lot of us missed out on playing in the fly. So we're really excited to return, playing what is hopes to be a really competitive tournament. Um, and obviously returning to playing in the Sixes format. A really exciting, fast-paced version of the game that we're looking forward to playing. Uh, you're back on Team Rise again as the team icon selected. Um, how does it feel as well being that figure, you know, that sort of people look to as essentially as, you know, someone um, someone leading the Sixes game at the moment? Yeah, I mean, it's a big honour when I was asked to be um, a Rise icon. I was um, really surprised. When you think of icon, I'm thinking like, Madonna I was like what the hell but um yeah no I was really excited to be asked and um yeah I think just being someone that people uh look to to lead the team and um be that person that's uh, gonna help out younger players as well obviously coming to the probably latter end of my career um I think it's really exciting to just be that person that can help the young ones come through as well um, and help the future of the sport and obviously being so involved with youngsters as well, working um, school wise, it's always, you know, good for them to be able to to see those people at the top as well. You know, they sort of will take inspiration from what you're doing as well. Yeah, definitely. I think there's that quote of like, if you can see it, you can be it. And I think that's what's really good about the fly is that, you know, we're putting shining a light on the sport that we all love so much. And um, hopefully lots of young girls will be watching and especially with Putney being just down the road, hoping to get lots of the girls coming to watch. But um, yeah, I think being able to inspire the next generation of lacrosse players is really exciting. Um, what was your experience of it in year one? Because it was all really, really new back then, you know, the whole format and the competition. Um, what was it like playing in that very first year? Yeah, I mean, at first the first thing that struck me was like how big of an event that um, England lacrosse made it. I think it's really exciting um, tournament and you know to see all the sort of it felt very professional with all the media and um all the organization um felt really smooth i think you know ironing out the rules at the beginning um you know trying to find out what works best and things like that we were still working out the rules of the sixes game um i think umpires and players alike but i think now that um, that's all been ironed out and definitely towards the latter weekend it was um yeah really fun tournament and i think just really exciting thing to be a part of. Um, as you said, you weren't a part of it last year because of the the big international um, summer of 2022. Um, firstly, at the at the World Champs, that was a pretty incredible moment for you and the team. What was that whole experience like? I mean, I wouldn't know about the exact moment because I was bawling my eyes out, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, no, I think it was just such an incredible moment to um, win the bronze medal. Um, I think as as captain as well, I think it was like a dream come true, really, for me. Um, obviously, didn't didn't play in 2017, so didn't get to experience that with the team. And I think being able to, A, make the team, B, captain, was a, was a cherry on top. But I think winning the bronze medal, um, you know, with all my mates was just a, an amazing, amazing experience. Um, and then, obviously, to go to Alabama and play in the World Games as well with um, GB, um, just a really, really exciting tour. Um, great to play with some of the Scotland and Wales talent as well. Um, and I think, yeah, it was just an incredible summer um, for me, a great summer of lacrosse. Um, as I say, yeah, so after you, the bronze at the World Champs, you then went straight off to that World Games. And again, that experience of um, of sixes at the top level, you know, in a sort of... Um, big international tournament environment what was that like being a part of that as well yeah it was amazing I mean the world games is a really interesting tournament to be at because um it's kind of run like they would the olympics so you have your athlete village you're staying in a big um hotel with lots of other different sports different um people from all different countries um so that was really cool experience um I think the sort of stadium and everything that we played in down in Alabama was incredible as well um the, the way that the tournament was run, the um, kind of size of the crowds and everything like that, it was really exciting. I think, you know, wherever you play in America, because it's such a big sport over there, you're always going to draw quite a big a big crowd and some of the biggest crowds that you'll probably play in in your career. But 
um yeah it was a really really exciting tournament and um yeah it was disappointing I think for us not to get the results that we wanted but I think um, a really great experience altogether to kind of put the GB Sixers team on the map. Did it also kind of show you a little bit of what the Olympics could be like for the sport if it were to be included to get involved um you know like you said about having eyes from people from other sports that kind of you know maybe not have seen the sport but are there because of other sports and just there because it's got the name olympics next to it um did it show you what it could be like if lacrosse made it yeah definitely it definitely was a taster i think you know it was as i say like it was run similarly to how i'd imagine the olympics would be you turn up you get your pass it's all very feels all very exclusive when you get into the hotel no one else is allowed in there except sort of the coaches and the management um and the players obviously and i think um, you know, have even like when you're going to dinner and stuff, having like an athlete village kind of feel. Um, so, yeah, that is what I imagine that. I mean, I can't say I've never been in the Olympics, but I imagine that's what it would be like. Um, and I think as well, just the kind of spectacle that it was as well um, with an opening ceremony. Uh, we all enjoyed Lionel Richie at the closing ceremony. Um, sadly, we missed the opening ceremony. But um, yeah, it was just a huge, huge occasion. And I think a real taste for you know what could hopefully be to come for lacrosse but we'll see about that back on the field as well i think we saw you know from the worlds and from the world games that um the gap to those top two is getting closer each time the the standard at the top end now for english lacrosse is so high and so competitive that can you see you know those two teams at the top are not far away at all now. Yeah, I, def I definitely think, I mean, uh, you know, from inside sort of the camp um, when we lost to Canada in, in the semi-final, I think, you know, it was a very close game. We only lost by a few goals and I think it was, you know, the team were gutted, I think, to to have got that close and not quite come out with the win. Um, our goal going into it was, I think, realistic to get into the final. Um, and I think we'd always had that in mind. But, you know, each each year we're getting closer, I think. And I think, you know, another four years, you know, we've got an exciting new uh, coach now as well at England. I think it's really exciting to move the sport forward and to really get the team where we need to be. And I think hopefully all eyes on 2026, I think it is. <laughs> Don't know if I'll be still around then, but um, hopefully I will, but we'll see. Um, but I think it's really exciting for us to know that we're getting closer every time and to, to come that close to the top teams, um, it, you know, it's what you want, but I think it just is make, made us even hungrier for the future, I think. And I think as well, that six, the sixes format as well sort of naturally pulls the teams a bit closer together, you know, shorter games, um, smaller rosters. It allows the sort of the countries that might not have the, you know, incredible depth of America to still be competitive and to still give good fight. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, it, as you say, like all the, all those things will, will contribute to us being able to get closer. I think the Sixes style as well really suits the English um, and the UK generally style of play. Um, you know, we've got speed, athleticism, um, you know, ball movement. I think we we can really compete on that on that level at the international stage. Um, back to the fly, um, Mike Molster, who, as you said, is now the new England um, field head coach is the rise head coach for this year. Um, what's it like working with Mike and what can we expect from his team at the, uh, at the, uh, at the fly? And Mike's a great coach. I think I'm really excited to be playing under him both for England and um, for the fly. Um, he obviously has a really huge amount of experience um, having coached out in the US um, for various NCAA uh, division one team so he brings a huge amount of knowledge um, which has been really exciting I think uh, we had our first training squad back with England last weekend and I think he's brought definitely a new level of kind of professionalism lots of exciting new drills and uh, new ideas I think that's what we can expect from him is I think you can expect the unexpected from Mike I think he'll do things differently and try new things that might seem a little bit different but um, I think it's going to be really exciting yeah as you say, so he's definitely someone who, as well, won't be afraid to try new things at the fly. You know, he'll be someone who um, will try and push your group as far as possible. Yeah, definitely. I think he'll be someone that, um, 
you know, we'll have little things up his sleeve ready to go and tactics and things that we might not expect. Um, well, I hope so. Yeah, you better fill this up. <laughs> you better uh, fulfill that now that I've said it. Um, but yeah, no, I think he's definitely a coach that, you know, will have lots of little things that he'll be looking at and he'll be um, really studying it as well and making sure that he knows the game and the rules and how he can exploit them and, and everything else. Um, what are you looking and hoping to bring to the fly this year? You know, what, uh, what do you see as your top qualities that you're going to bring to Team Rise for this year? Um, well, I think, you know, my, my strength within my game is kind of my, um, my speed and my um, kind of ability to go both ways. I'm quite versatile. I feel like I can, I can defend well and I can attack well. So I'm hoping that I'll still be able to bring that and um, that kind of workhorse ethic of being able to make turnovers and hopefully make plays in the attack. Um, but I think from a, from a senior player standpoint, I think my main goal is to kind of bring the team on as much as I can in terms of encouragement and leadership. Um, I'm really excited to work with some of the younger players, whoever they may be, but um, we've got a lot of exciting young talent, I think, in England and Scotland and Wales. So um, I'm really excited to work with those younger players and hopefully bring them on and um, get them excited about the Sixes format because ultimately they're the future. You know, if it goes in the Olympics, it's going to be those younger players coming through that are the, you know, ones that are going to be hopefully competing for a medal one day. Yeah, um, it looks like it's shaping up for the standard and level of competition to be really high this year. So I'm sure there's, you know, definitely going to be some fierce competition between um, all the four teams. And like you say, some of those players that you've played with as teammates get into um, go up against them on the other side this time. Yeah, definitely. I think we always have a good level of sort of healthy competition, definitely in the England squad um, of, you know, being, being up for the battle and, and making sure that we're bringing our best best level. Um, I think it's really exciting as well to be able to play against those players that you usually play with, um, to bring each other on and, and really improve each other as well. And so ultimately you'll be hoping to uh, win at the fly this year, yeah? You um, thinking that Team Rise could uh, take the title? Definitely. I'm backing Team Rise all the way. I mean, I don't even know who's on Team Rise yet, but I'm still backing us blindly. Um, rise till I die. 